So we're looking at a circuits test review. Um, so you have to first identify what kind of circuit you're dealing with and know what set of rules you have to use. If there's only one way to go from the start of the battery around back to the battery, it is a series. If there is more than one way, if you can go from the battery down this branch and back, down the second branch and back, down the third branch, then it is parallel. Okay. Now we're going to take a look at number one. The way I've made my guys, my students do this is they need to make a VIR table and then solve for everything and show the work. So we're going to go through this at a quicker pace. All right. Now we may rewrite VIR for the voltage, current, resistance. And then for however many resistors you have, we're going to write one, two, three. That's as many rows as you're going to have. And then you're going to write a T. So here is what you have. And now you're going to use, all right, fill in your given pieces of information. The voltage, when it's over the battery, that is the total. So that's 12 volts. R1 is 1 ohm. R2 is 2 ohms. R3 is 3 ohms. So... For series rules, if you know what all the resistances are, you can just add them all together. So I'm just going to show that really right here with a little plus sign. 1 plus 2 plus 3 is going to give us 6 ohms. So what I have found, all right, either using rules or using the math of Ohm's law, is going to be highlighted in yellow. Okay, so right now I use this rule. I can't use the current rule because I don't know what any of the currents are, and I don't know the other voltages. So when this happens, if you know two variables in the same row, I call it the rule of two. You're using the triangle of Ohm's law to figure this out. We're looking for current. We have two uh, values in the total column, or, or sorry, in the total row. So to find this, you can do IT is VT, total voltage over the total resistance. So 12 for the VT over 6. And this is going to give us 2 amps. Now, 2 amps goes here. Okay, now I'm not sure what to do. I, I, I don't have 2 in anything else, so I can't use the triangle. Got to go back to the rules. All right, I'm in series. Make sure you're paying attention to which one you're using. In this case, all the current is the same because it only has one way to move. So 2A, 2A, 2A. Really, no math is needed there. You just need to understand your rules. And then to find the voltages. All right, if I cover up V in the triangle, I have two in the same row. If I cover up V, it's two, all right, it's I times R. So two times one will give us this. Two times two will give us this. Two times three. I'm going to show the full workout and then I'm abbreviating it afterwards. I1 times R1. All right, two times one, you're going to get two volts. And then V2 will be 2 times 2, 4 volts. And V3 will be 2 times 3, which is 6 volts. Now, the total voltage here, the rules is all the voltages across each resistor, the voltage drops, they have to add up to the total. 2 plus 4 is 6 plus another 6 is 12 and everything matches and works out so this was a fully complete problem with all the work shown okay we're going to go into problem two parallel vir table v i r you have one two three resistors so we have one two three and t all right resistor one is one ohm resistor two is 2 ohms. Resistor 3 is 3 ohms. And we have the battery given here as 12 volts. Now this is parallel, so the rules are slightly different. Parallel. Voltage is the same everywhere. To find the current, you would have to add them all up to find the total. Resistances, you can use this method here to solve for it. Now, this one seems to be not everyone's favorite. If you can yeah, you can do it in a different way. We're going to try and do it in a different way, and that's what we're going to look at here. We're going to look at the parallel rule of the voltages are all equal to the total. So if I know the voltage in any one position, they're all the same. So these are all 12, 12 and 12. No math needed here, just knowing the rule. 
Now I have two, I know two in the same row, so I'm going to use Ohm's Law. To find I, you're going to do V divided by R. We're looking for I1, so I'm going to show one full example. I1 is V1 divided by R1, so 12 over 1, which is uh, 12 amps. And that will go here. I2 would be V2 over R2, which would be 12 over 2. Uh, 6 amps, I3, 12 over 3, which is 4 amps. So we have 6 amps, we have 4 amps. Cool. Now, the rule for parallel, you can add all the currents together. So if I add, all right, these three together, IT will equal 22 amps. So by putting that here, you're going to get 22 amps. And now I know two out of the three to find RT. RT would be VT. If I cover up R in the triangle, V divided by I, but you got to use everybody from that row. So 20, 12 divided by 22, VT over IT. 12 over 22, and this comes out to be 0.545, and that would be ohms. Now, could I do it the uh, using the other method of the resistances. Yes, 1 over RT is equal to 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3. I will show that uh, just for, you know, the math portion of it. Uh, 1 over 1 plus 1 over 2 plus 1 over 3 is going to equal, I always tell my guys to write it like this, 1 over. So this RT is what we're going to put here. So what you throw what this in the calculator, or that's the answer that needs to go over here because we need to take the inverse of that. 1 divided by 1 plus 1 divided by 2 plus 1 divided by 3 equals this 1.833 repeating. Now you can jot that down, 1.83 repeating, but you want to do it in your calculator as 1 divided by second and then answer because we, we want that whole thing that unrounded piece and that's where we get that 0.545 from and so 0.545 it still comes out to be the same so this would be your final answer here all right this this right here was acceptable work for it to find it it's kind of easiest i guess easiest way here all right this 0.545 now we go back to series, the IR, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, and we have T. R1 is 1 ohm, R2 we don't know, R3 is 2 ohms, the voltage over the battery is 12, and we know that we have this little ammeter here. This measures the current in some spot. Now, on a series, it doesn't matter where it goes, so we can put it, it's right after one, so we can put it here. It doesn't necessarily matter because the rules for series, the current's the same everywhere. So I'm gonna put three amps, three amps, and three amps. So I'm gonna go uno, dos, tres. Uh, well, one of them is technically not highlighted because one of them was given. All right. Then what can we do? I'm going to find, me personally, I'm going to find RT first, which would be voltage divided by the current, because I know two in any row, okay? Uh, if I'm looking for the resistance, it would be V divided by I. So total voltage divided by current. So 12 over three gives me four ohms. So this 4 ohms, cool. Now, I can use the rule of 2 here and here. I can't use it here, but one of the rules for a series is all of the resistances need to add up to the total. If I know what the total is and I'm looking for the missing, it's like basically this plus blank plus this has got to equal 4. So if I'm looking for R2, it's the total minus the others, R1 minus R3. 
3. So I'm going to do 4 minus 1 minus 2. Guess what? That equals 1 ohm as your R2. Then your voltages. Voltage is equal to current times resistance. So I1 times R1, 3 times 1, 3 volts. V2, same thing. It's 3 amps times 1 ohm, 3 volts. V3 would be 3 times 2, 6 volts. So we have 3 volts, 3 volts, 6 volts. The voltage rules, all of them should add, add up to the total. 3 plus 3 plus 6 is 12. Yes, that is 100%. So that is a completely full worked out port or problem there. Here, again, you have, we make our table, V, I, R. One, two, three resistors and a T for total. Five ohms given, two ohms given, 10 ohms given, and the current. Now, the current isn't given here. It's given basically right here. If the current is given anywhere by an ammeter before it hits this point or on the way back towards the battery, anywhere in that yellow area, that would give us the total current. If it's down this one, that would be I1. If it's down this one, I2. If it's down this one, it would be I3. But it's given to us beforehand. So that would be at the I T of 5 amps. So we're looking at a parallel. So we have these rules. All voltages are the same. We don't have any voltages. We can't do that. Um, currents, we can't add anything up. And we don't have rule of two in anything else. So there's really only one way you can start in this problem. And to do that one is having to figure out the total resistance. So 1 over RT is equal to 1 over R1 plus R2 plus R3. So that is going to give us 1 divided by 5 plus 1 divided by 2 plus 1 divided by 10 is equal to 1 divided by whatever this calculates out to be in our, in our calculator. We can show that out real quick. 1 divided by 5 plus 1 divided by 2 plus 1 divided by 10 equals... That number is going to go over there. 1 divided by second answer, you get a resistance total of 1.25 ohms. Now, we can use that and IT to use the triangle to find VT. IT times RT. 5 times 1.25, and that is going to equal 6.25 volts. Cool. 6.25 volts. Perfect. And also the rule here for um, the voltages, they're all the same. So these are now all 6.25 volts so that's awesome we didn't need we just needed the rule to figure that out and now to find the currents covering up i you're going to do v divided by r so i1 v1 over r1 so you're going to do 6.25 divided by 5 i2 v2 over r2 6.25 over 2 and i3 V3 over R3, 6.25 over 10. These come out to be 1.25 amps, 3.125 amps, and 0 0.625 amps. And they would just need to throw those into the into our into our table.
All right, moving on. Series again for this one. V I R. We have one, two, three resistors. One, two, three, and T. Total voltage is nine. Current, we don't know yet. Resistors, we had 100. We have 300, and we got 50 ohms. Okay, for series circuits, all resistances, all right, if you know them all, you can add them up. So RT is equal to 100 plus 300 plus 50. You're going to get 450. A common mistake will be rushing this too quickly. You now have 2F3 to find I total. Some people see this and they go, all right, big number divided by small number. Not always the case. Voltage divided by resistance. You just got to be a little careful. So IT is VT over RT. It's going to be 9 over 450, not... 450 over 9. And now this gives us a 0 0.02 amps. So that 0 0.02 amps, that's the total current. And what's cool and the rule for a series circuit, all the current is the same. So we now got this. Now these are all the same. 0 0.02, 0, 0 0.02 amps. So we found all of those, or we found one, and by the rule, they were all the same. And then voltages. V1 is I1 times R1. And that's going to be 0 0.02 times 100. So that's going to give us 2 volts. V2 would be I2 times R2. So 0 0.02 times 300, that's 6 volts. V3 would be I3 times R3, 0 0.02 times 50, and that is 1 volt. So 2 plus 6 plus 1, that adds up to 9. So we know that that works because, again, the total voltages the voltages going through each resistor in a series circuit have to add up to the total. And then this last one, again, here's the here's the problem. If you need to pause, you can pause to help, you know, uh, go through this, or you need to pause and you know go back. You can do that. And then this last one, V I R. There are one, two, three circuits or resistors, so we got to go one, two, three, and T. We got 90 ohms, we got 45 ohms, we got 180 ohms, and we know what the battery is 9. So that's all the given pieces of information. That's all our given pieces of information. The rules are right here, down here. This is a parallel circuit, so we're looking at the parallel rules. Once you know the voltage anywhere, they're all the same. Love that. That makes life a little bit easier so literally all you're going to do then is 9 divided by 90 9 divided by 45 9 divided by 180 to figure out what the currents are so my guys just have to show a little bit of work i1 is v1 over r1 so 9 over 90 not 90 divided by 9 um, and that is going to kick out an answer here of 0 0.1 amps I2 will be 9 over 45. That is 0 0.2 amps. I3 would be volts over resistance. 9 over 180. That's going to be 0 0.05 amps. So 0 0.2, 0 0.05 amps. Now, Again, the rule for current in a for parallel, 
add them all together to find the total. So I'm just going to take these guys here. Okay, I'm going to add them up. And this is going to come out to be 0.35 amps as my total. And then I can do 9 divided by IT to find RT using the triangle. RT is VT over IT, 9 over 0.35. And this is going to kick out an answer here of 25.71 ohms. Now, that works, but if you also went about using the actual 1 over RT is equal to the 1 over R1 plus 1 over divided by R2 plus 1 over R3, 1 over 90 plus 1 over 45 plus 1 over 180 is going to equal 1 over whatever that value is. 1 divided by 90 plus 1 divided by 45 plus 1 divided by 180. This is going to be a pretty small number here, 0 0.038 repeating basically. 1 divided by that answer, second answer gives us that 25.71, which worked out as well. And so it just goes to show, guys, that either way you decided to find RT works. I usually will, if I can find the uh, total current first and then go R, I prefer that. Um, just because if I did 9... Divided by this, it's going to be like 0.35 and change. I like to make sure that all the I's add up to the to the total. And so that's why I usually go I's first unless it is a problem like, back it up, number four where you really had no choice. You had to do that way first. Okay. All right. I hope that guys helps. If you guys can you know, skim through it however you need to in order to get to the point where you need to get to. All right.